You're going to be opening your brake lines while replacing your calipers. One of the things you can do to stop fluid from draining from the master cylinder and reservoir is depress the brake pedal halfway down and hold it in place with a stick or with a brake pedal depressing tool. This will keep the fluid in the master cylinder from leaking. You absolutely have to bleed your brakes after opening the lines and replacing the caliper. Do not attempt to drive the vehicle without first properly bleeding your brakes. Please see the link at the end of this video for instructions on how to perform that work. If your vehicle is equipped with brake pad wear sensors, pull the brake pad wear sensor, green arrow, out from the brake pad, shown here on the driver's side. Be very careful as the sensor tends to break when removed. I like to use a pair of needle nose pliers to pull the sensor out. Next, pull the sensor wiring harness mount off the brake line, green arrow. Again, only if your vehicle is equipped with the sensor. Working at the brake caliper, use a 14 millimeter flared nut line wrench. Loosen the brake hose, green arrow. Do not remove it. You will unscrew the hose from the caliper later. You can use a regular 14 millimeter open end wrench, however you risk damaging the hex on the end of the brake line. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the brake caliper anti-rattle spring by prying it out while securing it with your hands. The spring can pop off and go flying, be sure to hold it steady, and as always, you should be wearing eye protection whenever doing any work on your vehicle. Using a flathead screwdriver, slowly press the brake caliper piston in. This allows the brake caliper to be pulled off the rotor easily. I like to pry between the outer brake pad and the brake rotor. This way, there is less of a chance of damaging the caliper piston. Be careful not to damage the brake pads if you intend to reuse them. Remove the rubber plugs from the brake caliper mounting fasteners as indicated by the green arrows. Next, using a 7mm Allen bit, remove the brake caliper mounting fasteners, green arrows. Remove the brake caliper from the mounting bracket and unscrew the brake hose from the caliper. Screw the new caliper into the brake hose, then install the caliper in the mounting bracket. Depending on your brake pad design, you may have to transfer the brake pad from the piston on the caliper from the old caliper to the new one if reusing. Tighten the caliper mounting fasteners and install the plugs and anti-rattle clip. Then tighten the caliper brake hose. Clip brake wear sensor wiring harness back into the brake hose if equipped. Then bleed the brakes. You must bleed the brakes. Please follow the link at the end of this video for assistance on how to properly bleed your brakes. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.